Live. Hello, I am Pearl Manhattan, and I'm not selling anything. <laughs> uh, for the next six weeks, I will be doing a weekly show here on Sunday. Uh, Sunday mornings for me. I'm on the West Coast. For those of you on the East Coast, it's right at lunchtime. And I will be talking about FOM, February Album Writing Month. 14 songs in 28 days. Of course, anybody can do it. This website is free. It is a website. It has a community. It has um, a community of forums that is just amazing. Uh, each person gets a personal page. Right now, the FOM website is still in hibernation. Here, if you look over the side, I've got the web page here, and I will talk to the chat in just a minute. I want to get this content out first. Um, make music because you can. FOM stands for February Album Writing Month, the collective, the collaborative global music community since 2004. So-called farmers have collectively written more than 225,000 songs to date. Are you in? It is open to songwriters and musicians of all levels, um, beginner to pro. Um, next week, next Sunday, I will uh, have access to the website and we will go through it step by step. I'll show you how to post the song and all sorts of things. Today we're just going to talk about foam. Um, it's a personal challenge. Why 14 songs? Because that is the average length of an album and it is writing month, not production month. So uh, you will write a song you will make a quick demo of it on your cell phone recorder or if you have a DAW and you're more comfortable with that or um, audio recorder, whatever. If you just write lyrics, then you just post the lyrics. A song is whatever you think it is. All right, I'm going to get to the chat real quick and then we'll get back to foam because I kind of got confused about what I was talking about. It's been a while since I streamed, guys. It's been a hot minute. Saint Devil. Hello, Saint Devil. It's afternoon where you are. Early evening, maybe. Uh, it's evening time where you are. Meepsy. Hello, Meepsy. Good to see you, too. I'm glad you're in here. Um, throughout the month of February, what I'll be doing in these live streams is showing you my songwriting process, my production process. I'll give you highlights of the week from Foam. Um... I have been a farmer since 2016, and I stumbled across of it. Uh, it's 5 p.m. here now. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, oh, Meepsy, I'm looking so forward to, to cooking up, to making music. Um, I've been away from it for a very long time. <laughs> if, if you are familiar with my channel, you saw a video I posted last year where I just needed a break. I had been doing videos, going live, do, um, so much that it was, uh, wasn't was fun anymore. And I have learned at my wise old age, uh, I'll be 57 next week, um, just saying. At my wise old age, I have learned that when something isn't fun, it's not worth your time. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, you need to find something else to do. So that's what I did. I took a nice long hiatus. Gator. Hello, Gator. Gator's a friend of mine from the East Coast. Hello. How are you? Um, anyway, follower since 2016. Uh, I discovered it on a, through a message board. I had just switched over from, uh, I'm a classically trained composer, pen pencil and paper, um, and songwriter, and I had just changed over and got my first DAW. I got Reaper, because it was free. Well, actually, I started with Pro Tools, because it came with the MIDI keyboard I bought, but it looked too complicated and somebody suggested Reaper so I got Reaper and which is free by the way and uh, I, I did okay with that and I bought a program called Band in a Box which you'll be seeing a lot of in the next six weeks um, and uh, it's uh, it kind of makes um, 
makes MIDI loops for you. Uh, it's a fascinating program. I'll do a whole uh, whole session on it. Um, and in my first film, I wrote 92 songs. I had a lot to say. You don't have to write 92 songs. You don't have to write 14 songs. Um, that's the beauty of this personal challenge. You write as many songs as you choose to. How? What do you win? You win the self-satisfaction of knowing you wrote 14 songs in 28 days and you get this really, really cute um, trophy on your page. Um, I'm not pulling up last year's pages and stuff because like I said they've done a whole new rewrite on the site updated it and uh, it looks really good let's scroll down a little bit here on the page I'll get back to what this is in just a minute let's scroll down on the page 14 songs in 28 days that's a new song every two days and if you figure on the first day you write your lyrics and then you know, maybe set it to music. The second day, you record a quick demo. It doesn't have to be radio quality. It can be you and table drums. It can be you and a kazoo. It can be you and your daw. It can be just an instrumental. It can be your guitar, your cello, your flutophone, recorder, whatever you want to use. A song is what you choose. It's a song. Um... Don't wait for inspiration. That's one of the taglines of FOM is, what are you waiting for, inspiration? Collaboration. This is one of my favorite parts of FOM is they have so many opportunities to collaborate. The first one is when you post up your song. If you're a lyrics only person and you'd love to hear your song set to music, you can set one of the tags and it says needs music. Collab. And people will go through and look for those tags and say, ooh, I like those lyrics. And it's common courtesy to send a message and say, hey, I like your lyrics. Uh, you said you were looking for collab. I'd like to set them to music. And most times what happens is if you're a lyric writer, you've written your lyrics, your music collaborator will take them and put them to music and sing them or you know arrange the the production of them but it's nothing that you know it's it's not a radio quality um it doesn't have to be now it can be if you're a fast worker and you produce stuff really fast um if you are a music producer and you make beats and that sort of thing that's songs too and you can put on there looking for collab um, we haven't ventured too much in the hip hop genre, but all genres are represented. Uh, we even make up our own genres. Uh, a couple years ago, somebody invented the genre slothcore, which is music like a sloth. Oh, Jeffrey Chapman, welcome in. Good to see you, Jeff. Um, slothcore is done at a beats per minute of like 20 to 40 with long pauses for naps. Uh, think of a the animal, a sloth, okay? We invent our own, uh, we have people from the Filk community. Filk is the music of science fiction and fandom. You hear about them if you go to conventions, science fiction conventions, uh, all kinds of conventions. Every convention has their own Filk track, which is the music of their fandom. Uh, we have classical musicians, we have Broadway musicians, we have rock musicians, we have country, we have old school, we have everything. You will find people there. And people from all over the world. And that's what makes it beautiful with the collaborations. I've done quite a few co collaborations with a lyrics writer who's in Austria. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, another uh, opportunity for collaboration is the random collaboration where you put your name in and you can say I will do uh, lyrics or I want to do music or I will do either one and uh, then the person who's running the random collaboration basically picks two names out of a hat and says okay you and you collaborate on a song and uh, you have some communication with your collaborateur 
and uh, you decide who's going to do what uh, and how you're going to do it, um, what you want to write about, maybe what genre, if your lyrics are genre specific. Um, I've had the best fun with that. I'll show you some that I've done in a few minutes. Um, you post your lyrics or demos as you finish them. You get feedback from fellow farmers. Um, there are some people who want strong constructive feedback and they will say that in their profiles. I want constructive feedback. Let me know. Uh, there's some people who just want to hear, ah, it's a nice song, you know. Um, not everybody likes constructive feedback. So we keep it a very friendly site where, you know, nice, nice, uh, nice song is a good comment. Uh, try to keep your comments positive and affirming. Uh, we don't tear anybody down and we don't, uh, we're not music theory lawyers. Do you need to know music theory to participate in this challenge? No. No. Do you have to play a musical instrument to participate in this? No. Do you have to have published lyrics somewhere to write? No. No. Uh, there are housewives. There are accountants, bankers, doctors, lawyers. Uh, all walks of life and they participate in this um, this year they put out a poster and I'm sure if you follow my social media you have seen it this is the poster for fall this year make music because you can so this is another collaboration opportunity this four track they started it with uh, four track recorders where um, Oh, I see. My mouse is moving around the screen and it's putting it on there. <laughs> anyway, I got distracted looking at my monitor. Let me check the chat real quick. Hey, and Meepsy, that's okay too if you get one song done. The whole, the whole idea of this is to write the song. And um, we do the production and the instrumentation and everything else. Um, that's usually safe for March album production month. That's when we take all the songs. If you're going to make an album and actually put it out, which I'll talk about in a minute, then we do it in March. I have a theory about music theory. You only need two keys to make music in a DAW, C major and any minor key. When you compose those, the notes can be shifted at the end to any other key. That's true. That You know, I need to check on something really quick. Ah, there we go. Now we've got the chat up there. Okay. There we go. Um, that's true. Um, you don't, <laughs> music theory is there so you can learn the rules so you can break them. Um, there are some people who get into music theory, like there are people who get into quantum physics. And they can talk about it all day and brain stretching and augmented and, uh, you know, pentatonic scales and all this other stuff. But you don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to at all. Anyway, the four track tape, they use an old fashioned four track recorder. Uh, the one that comes to mind, the one that I used was an old Tascam four track recorder. You take a cassette tape. And on a cassette tape, there are two tracks on one side and two tracks on the other. So when you play it, there's, you know, left and right stereo or whatever you want to call it. And you listen to one side, you flip it over. With a four track recorder, it uses all four tracks on that tape at once. So the first person will lay down a bass line or a drum or keyboards or something and they'll write down the chords usually and then you mail it to the next person in the four track collaboration who adds another track and it might be lyrics and vocals it might be uh, something that hasn't been added yet uh, might be cowbell and it goes through all four tracks and then you send it to the one person who produces it up you post it up it's a lot of fun then they took it and made it a four track video collaboration where each person adding to it recorded their track 
And then they recorded a video of them performing that track or whatever, and then somebody would put it all together. These are available. I'm not going to play them here. I don't want to get in trouble because uh, these belong on the FOM YouTube site, and that will be available on the site once it's open. I'll show you that next week. Once you write your song, oh, and I didn't talk about skirmishes. Song skirmishes are my favorite, favorite thing to do. Uh, it's like a writing sprint. Uh, those of you in Curtis, communities, com uh, Curtis King's community, Beat Timer, that is a sort of a skirmish tool. At an appointed time, one o'clock universal coordinated time, uh, Somebody will post a prompt, a songwriting prompt. It may be a word, it may be a line out of a book, it may be a feeling, it may be a phrase, whatever it is. Let's say white walls, uh, just taking what I'm looking at here. And they'll post that up and that is your prompt. And you have one hour to write and record a demo rough draft, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to be a produced song. Record a demo of that song. If you're a lyrics only person, you just have to post the lyrics. That's it. Um, and you have one hour to do this. And for me, it's so much fun. I'm going to demo a skirmish uh, during the month of February in one of my live streams. I will do one start to finish and show you the entire process of how to do that. Those are a lot of fun. Um, and then when you post your song for the next hour after the skirmish is over, you go through and listen to everybody or read everybody else's songs and leave them a comment. And it, it's just a way to spur your creativity plus support other people who participated in the skirmish. Sometimes they have super skirmishes, which is a skirmish every two hours for a 24 hour period. Um, those can get crazy. Um, so you, you write your song for FOM. You write your lyrics or, or whatever. Oh, oh, St. Devil, it's fun because you take the scientist out and you're just pure creativity. Um, I'll show you in, in a little bit. You write your song, uh, and then you get ready to post it to the website. You have to have somewhere to host it. Now, FOM offers hosting for a donation. Uh, last year, it was $25, and that got you a special Rock Hands, Rock Hands uh, symbol next to your name, which meant you were a FOM supporter, and you got hosting, and they send you an email on how to manage your little part of the the hosting little part of the database how to upload your songs and then you get a link for your song you post it in your song page uh if you don't opt for that there are other ways to post your song one of the ways i do is soundcloud um and uh this was a collab i did with a friend of mine russell lucas uh, these were from last year's FOM, I believe. Uh, this was a song skirmish here. The code word was Ireland. So I wrote this song. I've never been to Ireland. Um, but I host some of my songs here. And what happens is you post them up here and then you get the link for it and you post it in your FOM page. I'll show you that next week. This is another kind of collaboration that is a lot of fun, the Fake It Challenge. And we have several variants of this. There's also one called Explore the Core. Um, but what that is is basically with the Fake It Challenge, uh, the guy who runs that gives you sort of a fake book version of lyrics with chords. And it's up to you to decide what instrumentation you're gonna use uh, what style, what genre, that sort of thing. And it's up to each individual. Mine always come out jazzy. Um, there's some that come out heavy rock and uh, stuff like that. I'll play that for you next time. I don't have my sound set up right. It, it took me a hot minute to get OBS to work again. 
Um, another place uh, you can host your songs is Bandcamp. Bandcamp is free. And you can host, uh, let's see, this was uh, a couple of the songs that I did from uh, another challenge called 5090, which is in the summer. That one you write 50 songs in 90 days. It's a lot slower paced. Foam is kind of like a crazy boot camp, <laughs> I want to say. It's, it's crazy. Um, but uh, this is where I host a lot of my stuff. Um, yeah, this was, uh, I did a compilation of my February album writing month song, uh, 2017 to 2022. Um, and so there's that, my Christmas albums. But this is a place where you can upload your songs for free. You get a link and then it works with the February album writing month site so that it will um, give you a link and people can hear your music. Um, let's see, what was I going to get back to? What was I going to get back to? Um, but um, but um, oh, I was talking about something here. Let's see. Go back to chatting. I'm glad to see everybody here. I'm glad you came back. Um, the reason I started the stream with, I'm not selling anything. Let me talk about that real quick. Uh, I want this channel to be about songwriting and music production for the everyday person. And in researching what I was going to do for this channel, I got very frustrated because I would see a link and it would say, learn how to do this. So I'd click on it and I'd go to that page and it would be somebody talking for 15 to 20 minutes about how they were going to teach you how to do XYZ. All you had to do was follow the link in their uh, description and go to this page for your free guide or whatever. And you go to that page and it, and it gives you a little welcome video and says, now if you're really committed to learning this, sign up for my course. It only costs blah, blah, blah money. I understand that people are out there to make money and stuff like that. I'm not. I want to appeal to the everyday person who maybe has thought about writing songs, maybe has thought about writing music, but uh, never quite got around to it. And uh, I want it to be accessible to everybody. So uh, I'm not selling anything. I don't have the highest quality camera. I don't have the highest quality sounds, but uh, music is accessible to everybody, especially now with things like DistroKid, where you can upload your music to DistroKid and have it put out on all the big streaming services, Spotify, uh, YouTube Music, iTunes, um, Pandora. I've got songs on Pandora. Um, I had one song that had 5,000 listens on a streaming service that's unique to Taiwan. <laughs> so, um, you know, and maybe see, you, uh, maybe see says I might try it. At least stay with me and maybe next week if you can come. Uh, when the website's open and I go through it all and I explain it all, um, you know, try it. If you only get one song done, you only get one song done. But it's the community that I love. We have folks in there who are professional musicians who write or play or co-produce music that you hear on the, ooh, excuse me, the TV shows, we have people who are heavy into sync licensing, and we have people who are like me, who just do this for fun. Uh, we have all types of people, and we all come together in the community. It's a place where you can ask questions. It's a place where you can learn things. Um, we even have regional boards where you can hook up with people in your area. Um, so I, I strongly advise everybody to, you know, at least check it out. At least check it out and see what's going on. Um, 
what else? Um, I've been okay. <laughs> I'm, um, what am I going to do for fun? There we go. Uh, I will take you through the process of, uh, writing this album in, in, you know, 14 songs in 28 days. And then in March, I'm going to show you how I produce this album for release. And I'll probably be releasing it in June. That's you know, I will write 14 original songs that will be produced and released on an album in June. Um, that's my goal. Uh, plus, I'll be doing a lot of collaborations and stuff that won't make it onto the album. But uh, my goal is to write an album of 14 songs and release it in June. Because I haven't released another an album in a while. Um... But anyway, that's a quick overview on FOM, and that is me streaming for the first time in many, many months. Um, thank you to my replay viewers, if you have watched this on the replay. I'm going to keep it kind of short today because I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> and uh, to get ready for the work week, I am working full time now. I am a high needs paraeducator in a high school. Uh, I work with uh, all kinds of students from all different environments with all different uh, learning styles. I love my job. It's very fulfilling. Um, and still, I'm an independent musician. I At one time, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to write the next hit song. I'm going to be this, you know? And I had to realize that right now is the time for everybody to write their music and put it out there. I'm not competing with anybody. I'm just writing the music I like. I started out writing, uh, writing my instrumentals under the band name Armadillos After Dark uh, because I wrote music that I wanted to listen to. And I would listen to it. And then... Uh, my good friend Curtis King. I follow Curtis King. I love his uh, inspiration and the things he teaches. Um, oh, Saint Devil, thank you. And uh, he told me about DistroKid, and so that's where I put my albums up for distribution. Uh, my link tree for all things Pearl Manhattan is down in my description. Um, and the link for FOM.org. Now, if you haven't done it before, they have this uh, sign up for the announcement list. You put your email in, join the list. They don't spam you. Uh, they do not sell your email for one, and they do not spam you. You will not get any solicitation emails or anything like that. You will get one email that says, hey, the site's up. Um, join me next week, uh, 9 a.m. on the West Coast, 12 noon on the East Coast. Five o'clock over in uh, Europe, where Saint Devil is. You're you're in um, Ireland, right? Is that where you are, Ireland? I gotta let you hear my Ireland song. Um, see if you like it. Uh, all right, dudes. I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for being here. Um, if you like the content you see. I would love to have a subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you liked what you saw too. Replay viewers, leave me a comment. Uh, say hi. Glad to see you. Glad to know you. I know today was kind of a surprise. I didn't really publicize it that much. Uh, but next week I will be a lot more organized and a lot more ready to go. Ireland, yes. I'm, I'm going to send you a link in the in the Discord. I'll send you a link to... Uh, to my song in Ireland, and uh, I hope you like it. Guys, thank you so much. Peace and blessings upon you, upon all you love, upon all who love you. Find your dream, grab a hold of it, and do not let it go. Do what you gotta do to do the things you love, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.